All righty. I am here with Bailey Schoenfelder. How are you doing today, my friend? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. So, so the first thing I heard is that you were a former Minnesota Golden Golfer when you know you made your debut at LFA. That was the first thing I learned about you. How did this transition come about? And when did you know, okay, MMA is a real deal career for me moving forward? Um, yeah, so I get asked that question a lot. Um, so I have the I have the wrestling background. That was kind of my main thing. Like from when I could walk. I started wrestling and I wrestled all the way up through high school um, and had some success there. Um, I really wanted to play football in college. So I did that, you know, I could have wrestled in college, but I wasn't, wasn't really about the weight cutting and I really enjoyed football, but um, the state of the football team in high school, um, I found more success being on my own wrestling in high school. Um, and then, you know, I, it was always kind of in the back of my mind while I was going through football and um I'd always watched it, you know, me and my buddies would always get together and buy cards back in the day and watch, watch some of the, the legends fight. And um, I was like, yeah, this might, this might be interesting. You know, you never actually know until you try it out, you know, you, just, <laughs> you gotta, gotta, gotta like getting hit in the face. Um, but yeah, when I was getting done with football, I was like, I'm going to try this out, you know, um, give it a whirl. I made some phone calls, talked to some people that I knew and um, got put in touch with the academy here in Minneapolis and basically just kind of showed up. I didn't have any gear. I, I had my wrestling, but you know, I'd never boxed or kickboxed or any, done anything like that before. And I literally just showed up one day and um, yeah, I was like, this is awesome. And I got, you know, my athleticism going for me and I've been doing sports for as long as I can remember. So I figured I'd give it a real deal shot and just kind of fell in love with it. Yeah. So were you still wrestling at all in college or as soon as you were done with high school, there was like a gap where you hadn't wrestled at all? Right. Yeah. No, I mean, not legitimately, you know, you're always tussling with football buddies and stuff like that, but yeah, no, no, no real wrestling. Yeah. And so now you're two and oh, what have you learned through these first two fights? Um, I think the biggest thing through the first two, well, the first one, I mean, it was really short, so I didn't get a lot of like actual fight experience there, but that was good just to like, you know, get the experience of showing up, getting ready for a fight, showing up to the big stadium, you know, walking out, controlling those nerves, getting in the cage, you know, just getting a feel for everything and um, really getting used to that. Like I had, I'm sort of used to it, you know, with football and you got big crowds and stuff like that, but it's not even remotely the same when it's just you and some other guy and you're locked in a cage, you know? So that was good to get that out of the way and get a feel for it. And then my second one, um, I'd say probably the biggest learning experience from that was uh, really early on in that first round, I broke my hand pretty bad. So um, I kind of, it was a nice learning experience to like, you know, keep my cool, manage, you know, the whole fight with one hand and still um, get the finish. So I'd say that was probably the biggest thing that I took away from that one. So would you say that it was almost like finding a different part of yourself that maybe you didn't even know was inside of you? So you're actually in that moment? Yeah, I mean, for sure. You know, I mean, you can't, you can't just predict like how that's going to go, how you're going to react. Like I, I felt my hand break and I was just like, uh-oh, <laughs> you know, it didn't, it didn't really hurt. But I was like, I'm going to have to play this different than I would have normally. And I kind of had to adapt and change my game plan. And it all worked out really well. So, yeah, I was more than happy with that besides the broken hand. But. So last time we saw you was a year ago. What has been your focus in training? And what is the biggest difference since the last time we saw you? Um, I'd say, I mean, I never stopped training. I did everything that I could with one hand. Um, I'd say my biggest focus since this last fight has been improving my stand-up even further and then just sharpening my ground game, really. Um, I did I did a lot of stuff, you know, switching stances and working on my left hand and my lead hand and my orthodox stance. And uh, that was, yeah, mostly what I focused on was improving my stand-up and just being smarter, picking shots, you know, trying to take care of my hand now too, especially because I was supposed to fight back in April too and re-injured it in that camp. Um, but yeah, just um, getting getting smarter basically so everything with the hand is good now you feel 100 percent. you're ready to go yeah whole camp it's been golden you know um it's back up to normal strength 
feels fine hitting stuff. Yeah, it's it's ready to rock and roll. So do you think after those first two wins, you're ready for a step up in competition, or do you like this pace of like you know just getting your feet wet, start uh, learning as you go? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm ready for a step up, but uh, it yeah, it's still got to be gradual. You know, I I tried to get amateur fights and couldn't get any experience there. So, um, however much I've learned and however far I've come, that's that experience is still really important. So. Just, yeah, I'm just going to keep working my way up. And uh, my manager is really helpful with that stuff, too. So he knows what he's doing. So your next fight will be against Mark Courier. Have you seen any of his fights, or what do you know about him? Um, yeah, I've seen one that I found. Um, I, I know he's a big dude, and uh, he's got a chin on him, and looks like he likes to scrap. That's about all I've gathered. What would you say is your prediction for this fight? Um, I would say uh, definitely a first round finish. Um, I'm saying probably gonna rock him standing up and then gonna take him down and drown him. So I have some questions about just your career in general. Uh, the first one being, are you bouncing back between Minnesota and Florida or are you full-time in Florida? Yeah, I'm, I'm still currently back and forth. Yeah, I still live in Minneapolis. Um, and I'm just, I'm going down to Sanford to do my camps, basically. Yeah, at the moment. I will eventually end up down there full time, but still getting things in order to move down there. So Sanford MMA, they decide to change their name to Kill Clef MMA. Well, what's your, what's your thoughts on this name change? And uh, are you getting hooked up with any free drinks is what I got to know. <laughs> um, I try not to take advantage of the free drinks too much, you know, because I'm not I'm not a full time guy yet. But um, yeah, the Kill Cliff Fight Club. I think that's I think that's a pretty badass name. I'm I'm cool with it. I agree too. It's just like when you have a gym like Stanford MMA. I feel like I say that gym every single week, and it's like you guys want me to just change now. All right, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. But hey, whatever's working out for the gym, that's all that really matters. I agree. <laughs> So what's your experience been like training at Kill Cliff, and how have they helped your development as a fighter? Uh, it's been amazing. Everybody there, um, it's a great group, group of guys, huge group of guys. They got all sorts of, you know, especially bigger guys, which are hard to find. Lots of talented, bigger guys. Everybody's really humble, down to earth, helpful. The coaches, the player, or the fighters, everybody. Um, it's been the most amazing experience, yeah. So what are some of the fighters that you work with on a daily basis when you're there? Um, so like... Uh, I've done, I did my, this last camp with uh, Steve Mowry. He's fighting the co-main on this card. Um, Linton Vassell, he's, uh, he's, I think he's like number two in Bellator heavyweight. Um, Daquan Buckley, he's, uh, he's a really solid heavyweight. Um, Emiliano Sordi, he's a PFL guy, a light heavyweight. Yeah, just to name a few. So I, I'm sure you've been asked this question before, but you got Steve Mowry ranked number five. You got Linton Vassell ranked number two. There's only so many heavyweights in Bellator, so the chances of you fighting one, if not both, is possible. Well, what are your thoughts of potentially fighting them down the road? Yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, I try not to um, think about that stuff and try to not try to think too far past what I've got come, coming up right now. I mean, I think that's something that would be addressed when it when it uh, pops up, but. Yeah, for right now, they're really good teammates and the most helpful guys I have around to train with. So, so not, not to go too much into what's next, because you, I understand, you know, you should never overlook an opponent. But how do you see your career progressing? Like, do you think it's going to be, you know, 10, 12 fights before we see you fighting for a title? Or is it going to be five or six to just a general uh, estimate? How do you see your career progressing? Yeah, I don't know. I think... Um, Probably with like three or four more wins, I'm going to start getting into some bigger fights. And then, I mean, you know how the rankings and fights and stuff like that work. I, I'm not sure where it'll go after that, but I'll definitely be, I'll definitely be looking at the top at that point, you know, between like six to 10 fights, I'd say. And so what are your overall goals as a fighter? Um, I'd say ultimately I want to be, uh, the heavyweight champ and then I would like to at some point in my career 
go for uh, double champ, light heavyweight and heavyweight. I can I can make moves at both weights if I wanted to. So I would say that would be the ultimate goal. So is light heavyweight something that you know you've talked about with your coaches and just in general that is something you definitely want to do in the future? Yeah, I've I've rolled it around like with my manager and I've talked to um, like guys at um, Kill Cliff about it. And you know, there's it's really basically up to me, you know, if I want to make that cut. Um, or I could put some more weight on a little bit more weight and stay at heavyweight. I could stay where I'm at right now. You know, I could, it's either way. Um, I like my, I like my athleticism and I got the strength and everything to be at heavyweight right now. So I'm going to stick with that, but yeah, we'll see where it ends up. So I know you've only been with them for one fight, but how's Bellator treating you? How do you like them as a promotion? Is, is this your home for a while? Yeah. Um, they've been, they've been treating me really well. I, I love the show that they put on and, um, I think it's awesome. I've been, you know, I've been, I've been watching them as well since I was young and uh, yeah, it's pretty top notch stuff. I like it. So the final question I have for you today, when, when you're just trying to get away from MMA, what do you enjoy doing the most? Um, yeah. So I, uh, I mean, I really enjoy when I'm, when I'm not training or not in a fight camp, I really enjoy just like lifting and working out, you know, um, that's what I, that's what I went to school for. I like, I like strength training and power training and all that stuff. And I like, I train people myself, um, as a source of income on the side. And, uh, other than that, yeah, I like, uh, I like hunting. I got some hunts lined up after this fight for this fall, going to do some hunting and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, that's all I have for you today. I really appreciate you doing this interview and I hope everything goes well for you moving forward in your career. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And shout out to Danny for all the work he does.